All right, we are in the Marwind. Back again. Trying to cure our corpus disease. And trying to get the blades to... Basically, I don't know how the blades interpret that we are going to survive corpus disease and also be the Nerevar. <laughs> because our handler clearly prepared for us to have corpus disease in the first place. All right, so let's just get a refresher on our actual instructions. Oh. Praying Radaris, I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagathar calls to you, Tiberi, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagath is its glory. Yep, I know. I just spent all day uh, fighting cultists who... We're trying to kill me because I had not pledged my loyalty enough to Dagoth. Kind of an interesting balance that they strike between well having Dagoth love you a lot and want you to do this thing for him, but all of his followers keep attacking me because they're main enemies of the main quest. Alright, go to tell fear and get that corpus disease cured, then hurry back. I think I know how to get the lost prophecies to Bunny Mesa asked for. I told you tell fear is southwest of Sajith Mora on an island. Look at a map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so water walker assumed from Sajith Mora. Use the guild guide services of Balmor Mages Guild to reach Sajith Mora at Sajith Mora find Wolverine Hall Fighters Guild and ask the scout. Sondin Arthi for detailed directions to tell fear and remember Telvani wizards don't use stairs in their towers but bring levitation potions okay <laughs> yeah the second repeat um, dialogue option is usually not quite as detailed as the first one and I wish that it was or rather that there's a difference between the first time you ask for directions and the second one Neighbor Milo says the dissident priests do have records of Hashlander and Everine prophecies. She has an idea how we might get a look at them. Okay. So let's go to the Mage's Guild. Get away from me. You've got corpus disease. Hey, you can't get cured of corpus. Get away. Wow. Do you want something oh, from me? they still are able to do it. It's interesting how Kai's Casadas is so confident that we can be cured of corpus disease when everyone else seems to think we can't. Even in the Mage's Guild, who would know a thing or two about that. <laughs> Get away from me, you've got Corpus Disease. I am a drill master. I train and condition the local militia. I teach the citizens the basics of block, spear, and long blade. But mostly I concentrate on athletics and acrobatics, because the conditioning is the biggest weakness of the citizen soldier. No point teaching them to fight if they pass out after a short jog and a full kit. Yeah. Talk is free. What do you want? Here for orders or advancement apprentice, or is there something else you wanted? Huh. May the wind be on your back. Yes, Tiberi. I'm Sadarn Arathi. Go ahead. I'm sure you have questions. I do.
Ashlander Ahimesa tribe has a permanent settlement for the Ahimesa camp on the rocky promontory at the northwest tip of Vardenfell mainland in the Azura's coast. Azura's coast settlements include Mardmar, Sajithmora, Telarun, Telmora, Telfir, Telbernora, and Ahimesa camp, Old Redania, and Dagonfell. Telfir is a Tefalani tower. On an island to the southwest, close to the mainland, the market on your map, look for a tall tower, a dock, and a ship. The entrance to the tower is at water level on the northern tip of the island near the dock. In good weather, by day, the tower is easy to see. If you miss it, the tower and hit the beaches of the mainland, walk back and forth along the beaches and look for the tower. It's clearly visible from the beach. Bring levitation potions. No stairs in the tower. All right. So let's go to Telfir, Southwest. What day is today? Okay. So that's Telfir. I think we've been there before. We have to drop off our um, items that we have that are extremely valuable at our wizard tower of our own. And it is raining. One thing that Marwind Birth has that's pretty good is um, a lot of different types of slaughterfish. So it's not just one type all the time. And that means that swimming is increasingly more challenging and dangerous. Which is definitely a little difficult also worth, I guess, guessing or keeping in mind. I would like to do this level up. Because <laughs> right now you've got willpower, speed, intelligence, strike. Hmm. Personality is also up there. Oh, Conjuration is Intelligence. I do not have been leveling that up then. Let's just do... Personality, honestly. With Illusion, Mysticism. And alteration magic is definitely the thing we need to bring up the most. Put the fist of radicals down here. 
Um, take the chitin boots. Yeah. Much, much worse than the glass ones. Okay, so with the glass armor there, we will certainly sell the chitin boots in Sajith Mora, just downstairs. And I think that's all we were really keeping. Maybe some slow fall? Hmm. I thought we had slow fall. Or maybe it's the levitate. By armor, right? Do, oh, get away from me! You've got corpse disease. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has some. Some water walking also. Alteration for nine. Water breathing for six. Five to fifteen for four. Five to twenty five for six. Hmm. Now the other thing about water walking and traversing water that Sajith Mora is, this big archipelago, is you cannot sleep on water. You need to sleep and rest on solid ground. Could be an athletics level up this round. Kind of have a little bit of everything.
Have we been this way before? Don't think so. Abenabi apparently has some Daedra in it, or Dramora. There is a Shulk here, this is a Slaughterfish, probably a Lightning Slaughterfish. Let's go ahead and cast Water Walk on ourselves. Just skip that whole thing. Looks like that, indeed, tell fear. It's like it's set into a a huge mound. Oh, there's an electric slaughterfish right there. <laughs> Go fear the Onyx Hall. Betty fear. Here to plunder the dungeon. Have you got corpus disease? Did you want to talk to Dareth fear? I do have corpus disease. Everyone who gets corpus disease comes to the corpsarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. He's above. He's up above in his study. I hope you can fly. Can't get up there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. Hey, well. All the fear. That seems nice. Hey, Indriel Thalas. You're got corpus disease, Outlander. That's a death sentence. Can't be cured. Get away from me. Far away. Okay. Dagonfell is a tiny fishing village on the northern coast of Vardenfell on the large island called Shugorad. You have anything to say about Corpus? I am a savant, a man of wide learning and cosmopolitan tastes, a well-traveled man, educated, refined in manner, able to converse on various topics with authority, and a man ever ready to defend his honor and the honor of my companions. In short, you see before you a gentleman. I could discourse upon history, speechcraft, language, and customs, and for a fee I offer training that will permit you to share a few of my many virtues. Yeah. Elfir is the Tavani sorcerer of Sorcerer Lord David Fear. Beneath the towers, the Corpsarium, a refuge prison where the deranged, distorted victims of the deadly corpus disease are housed and tended. Here, let me mark it on your map. Okay. We 
we've seen most of these. Well, here's some books. Mr. Prophecies, the United Aid. Lunar Lorcan. I see. That would be where the flying comes in. <laughs> All right, David Fear himself. Say, that's an interesting Dwemer piece you have there. What can you tell me about it? Offer the Dwemer artifact as a gift? A gift for me? How thoughtful and shrewd. I suppose you know I am a collector and that such a gift is bound to please me. I congratulate you on your diplomatic skills. So why have you tried to butter me up? Come to consult the great David Fear. You have the divine disease. Want to plunder the dungeon or leer at my daughters? Jeez. The magical principles of corpus disease are elusive and miraculous, far more subtle and powerful than any conventional sorcery or enchantment. I'm persuaded that it is, in some manner, the, cure, the curse or blessing of a god. Perhaps both a curse and a blessing. The victim, of course, cannot appreciate the marvelous nature of corpus. It saps the mind and destroys the body, but to a wizard, it is a profound and glorious mastery, a riddle worth a, a long lifetime of study. Okay, nice that he seems to think of your disease that way. Okay. Corpus disease, how interesting. Did you know that corpus makes you immune to disease? Have you ever heard of the prophecies of the Neverine? Ashland say the Neverine will be immune to disease. I've always thought maybe I have the Neverine town in my corpusarium. And I don't even know it. Haha. <laughs> The Neverine is a fat, disgusting corpus monster, and mad as a marsh rat. Wouldn't that be funny? Explain that you may fulfill the Neverine prophecies. Tell him you know nothing about the Neverine prophecies. Ah, uh, this is hard. What a difficult choice. I mean, we don't want to be seen as utterly crazy. Ah, uh, this is difficult. Hmm. And we can't get out. We can't even say goodbye. And we can't restart. Okay. That's a fascinating story you tell. So you might be the Neverine. Nereverine. Means nothing, of course. Corpus victims have all sorts of delusions. But let me think. I've got a potion. In theory, it could cure corpus. Doesn't work though. Probably kill you. Killed all my test subjects. But you've got nothing to lose. Before I give it to you, I want to look you to look around below in the corpusarium. Know what's in store if you don't take the potion. And while you're there, I want you to pick up a pair of boots from a victim. Calls himself Yegram Bargan. Or Bagaran. My oldest patient. Handy fellow. Fixes things for me. Brings the boots back, bring the boots back, and then you can have the potion. Interesting. I collect victims of the divine disease in my corpusarium, in the caverns beneath my tower. Poor devils, wretched existence, constant pain, ferocious appetites and passions. No reason at all. Mad as marsh rats, but marvelous too in their way. Completely immune to disease, live forever, barring accidents. Ancient wizards need projects to keep them occupied, and the corpusarium is mine. Summoned creatures do not have very strong souls. Therefore, you need to locate a suitable Daedra, cast Soul Trap on it, and dispatch it. Do this twice while carrying a powerful soul gem and give the gems to Lunena Alaren. Okay. 
Alfie Fear is the sharpest of my girls, in wit and tongue. Gets on my nerves sometimes, but conflict is the spice of life. Betty Fear is the sweet one, eager to please and be pleased. An excellent cook and a lovely singing voice. I gave you the response to Master Aaron's request. I will not change my answer. Yes, yes, I know you've got corpus disease, but did you get the boots I sent you to get? Because I'm not giving you any potion until you've given me the boots. Goodbye. Daughters, not bad for something born in a jar, eh? Charming and talented. Not daughters, really. A little project, a side benefit of my researches into corpus disease. Made them myself on my own flesh. Nice, aren't they? Alf, fear, Betty fear, Delty fear, and oopsie fear. Quite a comfort to me in my old age. Ha ha. Delty fear is the efficient one. Organized and orderly. Jax is our steward, manages accounts, maintains supplies, keeps the tower and corpusarium running. Oopsie fear is the girl with the biggest heart. She takes care of the inmates of the corpusarium and helps with my researches. Into the dungeon. When you live for a thousand years, you need a hobby. Something you love. Always sparks your interest. I collect treasures and invite thieves to steal them. I'm a collector and a sportsman. I collect enchanted items and ancient artifacts. I have quite a few Dwemer pieces, and as a sportsman, I love letting thieves try to steal my well-guarded treasures. Only a few rules. One, don't hurt the inmates. Two, don't hurt my daughters. My warden and guards can look out for themselves. Vizitha Kai, the Argonian, is my warden of the Corpsarium. Quite a fighter, tough as nails, self-taught, works out with my daughters, who are no slouches at the martial arts themselves. Vizitha Kai is, was one of the last of my slaves. Freed him, and he wouldn't leave. Kept on, kept on as a hireling, then made him my partner. Excellent fellow, fine companion. Not intellectual, you understand, but good company for me and my daughters. An inmate named Jaeger Perrin. The oldest corp <laughs> is my oldest corpus victim. You'll find him in the bowels of the corpsarium. Interesting case. Three blessings, Sarah. Hmm. Harvest End, 3rd Era, 172. Chimir, Master Sorcerer, Summoner, and Durani Retainer. Miri Gregan was a retainer of the ambitious Durani clan. The Durani derived the bulk of their power from their traffickings with Daedra, a very profitable but risky path to success. Chimir or Chimeri was perhaps the cleverest and most ambitious of the Durani summoners. He dared to scheme against Lord Dagon and won. When his trick succeeded, Dagon was cast into oblivion. However, in the instant of his betrayal, Dagon struck out against the mortal who tricked him. Chimeri's pact assured that he would live forever in his hometown among the happy voices of his friends and countrymen. Twisting the literal words of Chimeri's pact, Dagon scooped up tiny Kaisili Island, a small island off the coast of Northmore, and hurled it into the void. All Chimeri's friends and countrymen were instantly killed, though the sounds of their voices remained to torment Chimeri's memory. Emir was condemned to live forever, to grow progressively old and crippled with arthritis, and to contemplate the tragic consequences of his defiance of fate and fortune in cheating a Daedra Lord. Armor of the Savior's Hide, created by the Daedra Lord Malakath. This armor has the marvelous property of turning the blow of an Oathbreaker. Nice. Emiri tricked Dagon into swearing an oath against the powers which he had no intention of keeping. 
the hide and of the savior turned Dagon's titanic fury long enough for Chimeri to deliver his own attack, an incantation invoked upon Dagon's protonomic, i.e. incantory true name. Unfortunately, like many of Malakas' gifts, the armor was a mixed blessing. It also makes its wearer exceptionally vulnerable to magical attacks, so one should only wear it for particular occasions. Dagon's Protonomic Chimeri used Dagon's Protonomic in an incantation to invoke a sorcery that would gradually drain all of Dagon's power into the void. Chimeri miscalculated, however, not realizing that Dagon's resistance could slow the draining of his power, even if it could not stop it. As a result, Dagon had the time to curse Chimeri with a literal fulfillment of the terms of his bargain with Chimir. Or Chimir. Rather than let his power drain into the void, Dagon cast it all into his curse. As a result, Kaesali Island was cast into the void, all its citizens were horribly slain, and Chimeri was condemned to live forever among the ruins of his greatest ambition. Rituals of the Hunt The Chapel of the Innocent Quarry Chimeri believes that Dagon had Calcilli Island established as the site of the Chapel of the Innocent Quarry to personally mock and torment Chimir. The green crystal structure was created by enchantments and is the only building on the island erected since it was ripped from Tamriel and loosed into the void. A Spear Supposedly the Spear of Bitter Mercy used in the Wild Hunts could not be handled by any mortal or immortal save the ones who ones sanctified to the hunt and bound by its strictures. However, Chimir was determined that though the spear's power is great, it is not unlimited, and that certain enchanted items, for instance the armor of the savior's hide forged by Malkath, are sufficient to protect a mortal or immortal bearer from its mag maleficent energies. Okay. Interesting. So this is Tal Marag Care's researches. I'd love to stay and read all of the books. But we've got some corpus to cure. You're smart. Get, you get corpus disease. Wow. Get killed by corpus monsters. Get killed by Vista Kai. A very good plan. Plunder the dungeon of a 4,000 year old wizard. What could be easier? You've got the disease. Go down to the dungeon with all the other monsters. Wow. I'm waiting. Gosh, healthy fears. Pretty upset there. Nope. Alright. Hmm. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Can't sleep in someone else's bed. The dungeon is down. Golden door, level 60 trapped. There's the corpusarium. And it's still through fear. Did you want to see David fear? Have you got corpus disease? Yep. This is not the Corpusarium. The Corpusarium is in the caverns down below the tower. Just keep going down. If you want to speak with Upsay Fear or Vista Kai, 
They attend to the needs of the Corpusarium inmates. Victims of the Corpus disease. If you go down there, be careful. Many Corpus victims are completely mad and quite violent. Really? Is that what you had in mind? Don't let me discourage you, but you do know that there are, you are almost certain to get Corpus disease if you enter the Corpusarium. And I hope you understand how frightfully dangerous our inmates can be. And we do have guards, you know. Quite good ones. You're free to try, of course, but I don't advise it. Okay. Alright, well, here we are. This guard seems like the one. Vistakai. I am Vistakai, warden of the Corpsarium. I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. Endure their attacks? What? Okay, so this is kind of a sneak um, spell also. How am I going to get the boots from Yergrim Barn if I can't attack him? I am the guardian and peacekeeper of the Corpusarium. I have spent long years in service to Lord Fear, first as a slave, then as a free hireling, and now as a friend and partner. He has been kind and generous to me. Uh, the kind of kind, benevolent slave... Uh, owner trope is a little harsh and cringy here. And I take his interest in the interests of those he shelters to heart. The treasures of this dungeon are open to sport, according to Lord Fierce Whim, and you're welcome to try to steal them, but I too find great sport in hunting thieves. Lord Fierce shelters and maintains the victims of corpus disease here in the Corpusarium. He does them a great service because no other could or would help them. He also does the world a great service by keeping them here where they can do no harm to others. The inmates are sad, distorted monsters, angry and cruel, and their sufferings are great, but they still live and feel, and I honor Lord Fear's care and compassion for them. For his own amusement, David Fear permits thieves to test their skill by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpsarium. The dangers are fearful, the inmates are savage, and they carry the most terrible disease on Tamriel. The treasures themselves are guarded by traps and terrors, and the guards, myself chief among them, will take great delight in trying to kill you. Those are the rules. Abide by them, or leave. Wow. Okay. Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can. But you are their guests, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. Jeez. Okay. Hegrim Bargan Bagran, is in the bowels of the Corpusarium. Pass through the gate and go straight across the next door. He rides in a four-legged cart... What? He's not as dangerous as the other corpse victims. I doubt he'll give you any trouble. He rides in a four-legged cart. That's kind of interesting. Okay, he's a knight. Slavery is protected by law in Marwind. Slavery is illegal throughout the rest of the Empire, but the du some Dunmers still defend their ancient right to own slaves. In Morrowind, slaves are bound by enchanted slave bracers. The bracers drain the magicka from the slaves so they can't use magic to escape. Unless you have a key, you can't get the slave bracers off. The Emperor should put a stop to slavery, but the Dunmer claim their right to own slaves as guaranteed by the Armistice. We are the people of the Root, called Argonians by the Warm Bloods. We go where we will, wet or dry, and the currents of blood magic run swift in our veins. In our native land, we hunt to live, masters of the marshes. 
hunted and enslaved by soft-skinned enemies, we snare and slay them by stealth, spell, and steel. Arconians are pretty cool. I should play more Arconian characters. Alright, so don't harm the corpus. Well, this is going to be difficult. My sneak is very bad. Hmm. You. So, when I just go in here, are you going to like attack me and try to kill me? Uh, oh, jeez. What is this one? Okay. Well, we could always fly. Jeez. Well, this is certainly a place, isn't it? Skeletal corpse. More gold and a kind of wax. Trapped level 100 chest. You know, if we had... What is it? If we had... Telekinesis, we could trigger the trap and then leave. Oh, we can rest up here. Another place in the Corpusarium. Another trap chest. Corpus here. I suppose we should put on the thief ring. I guess that's where we came out from also. Okay, um, I don't really feel like I have the energy to do the entire dungeon right now. Um, so I'm just going to load back to the secondary save here. And 
Yep, we'll fully explore. All of the, uh... All the dialogue, and, um... Save it here, and then we will pick back up on our next episode, where we shall be plundering the Corpsarium. Alright, peace.